The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, has met with chairman of political parties at the commission's headquarters in Abuja. The meeting is part of stakeholders' engagement scheduled by INEC ahead of the three-circle governorship elections in Kogi, Bayelsa and Imo State. Yakubu raises concern over the pre-election court judgments on the eve of the November 2023 off-cycle election in Bayelsa, Kogi and Imo States. The commission is concerned about the spate of recent judgments and orders of courts in respect of the nomination substitution or disqualification of candidates after all the sensitive materials have been printed. The reprinting of the materials in compliance with court orders within a short period of time is not only expensive, but the management of the process is also very challenging for the Commission. INEC boss also notes that free and fair elections can only be conducted in a peaceful atmosphere urging political parties to maintain peace during campaigns and on election day. As electioneering campaigns continue to intensify, the commission reiterates its concern about the spread of violence in the three states involving parties and candidates. I wish to remind you as party leaders that free and fair elections are only possible in an, in an atmosphere of peace. In his response, Chairman, Inter-Party Advisory Committee, Yabagi Sani says, to reaffirm citizens' confidence, INEC must continue to demonstrate impartiality, transparency, and a commitment to conducting free, fair, and credible elections. It is essential for INEC, as the custodian of our democracy, to address this issue comprehensively. To, re to reaffirm citizens' confidence, INEC must continue to demonstrate impartiality, transparency, and their commitment to conducting free, fair, and credible elections. This is not only a moral imperative, but a necessary step towards preserving the integrity of our democratic process. Sani further challenges INEC to work diligently in persuading the security agencies to play by the rules of engagement and resist the temptation of being used by desperate politicians. There's no doubt that INEC is showing its best efforts in the preparations in spite of obvious incumbencies. However, a lot more needs to be done to ensuring that elections in Nigeria are hitch free, credible, and substantially comply with provisions of the controversial 2022 Electoral Act. As the meeting continues behind closed doors, INEC chairman is expected to provide political parties with an overview of the preparations and specific roles that political parties will play in the forthcoming elections. Thank you very much.